Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be eating some African food. Um, so I already filmed some of this video, so some of the food is like gone. But I'm gonna show y'all like what I have now. So I got some coconut rice, and this is how it looks. And then I also had got some pepper soup with goat. So this is how the pepper soup looks with the goat. And then it came with fufu. And like I said, we already I've been eating off of this. So this is how it's looking right now. And then we have some jollof rice. And the chicken gone, but this is how the rice look. And then it came with plantains. So my mom is gonna be trying the food with me, but she's not gonna be on camera, so. If you hear something, that's her. But first off, I'm gonna start and I'm gonna try the coconut rice. And then I'm gonna get one of the plantains. And the plantain is a banana. And I got, what was this? I, I asked for beef on top of this, but I don't know. I'm kind of scared to take a bite. Okay, let's see. It's actually good. It has a good little taste to it. It kind of has a little bit of spice. Um, and like the tomato sauce on top of it tastes good with it. Now, I had one of these earlier and it was dry as heck. And I'm not too fond of it, but I'm gonna eat it again, just so y'all can see. But I never knew it would be banana to be this dry. I don't know if it's the way it's cooked makes it just dry or what. But yeah, she dry, dry. It's enough for me. Shit. It was a definite no for me. So, the next thing that I'm going to try on is the fufu and the goat soup. The pepper soup with goat. So, what you going to do, y'all? As you're going with your hands. And then you get the fufu. And this one feels different. It's not as like, what is it? Pulley. That's the other one. But you're going to take your piece. And then I'm going to get some of the meat to put in it. Oh my God, that's a bone. Okay. And dip it. And you're supposed to swallow the fufu whole. But you know you gotta chew the meat. So. And the fufu just tastes like mashed potatoes. To be honest. Now the soup doesn't really have that much seasoning. Um, I feel like it had, if it had more salt. It would be way better. But it's not as salty as I expected it to be. Or that what I would want it to be. Okay. Hmm. 
I don't know, y'all. I don't know. So now I'm about to eat the jollof rice. Now both of the rices have been pretty good. I can say that. So all the stress was worth it for the rice. Don't you wonder what I mean by stress? Well, we had a difficult time getting there and finding the place. Passed the place about five times. Called the lady. Still was having a hard time finding it. But we eventually found it. By the time we found it, make the order. Then we find out that we can't pay with a card. So then we had to go all around the world trying to find a doggone bank. And that was hard because in that area, we didn't know. And this is crazy thing, y'all. At the time, we did not know that if we went the other way, there was like five or six banks. So we go the opposite way. We drive around for probably like 20 to 30 minutes to find a bank. When we do find a bank, it's not even an actual bank. It's like a box with ATM inside of it. I go in there and I just was like shook. And also, I have my jerky drink, y'all. I ain't took no drink of it yet, though. But I was shook because it smelled like pee in there. And then it was like trash all on the floor, water bottle in there clearly we was not on the good side we was on the hood or the ghetto side so we go back by this time when i tell you i'm stressed my hair is all over my head i'm sweating all over cheeks is sweating i walked in there and they probably thought i was crazy but for the most part, after that, everything was fine. Just the ride home was long because it was like an hour away from where I live. But okay, y'all, I had to switch to another camera. But like I was saying, other than that, everything was fine. Made it home. And now I'm here doing this video for y'all. But I have to say, hmm, I don't know. I expected African food to taste way different. Like, I expected more seasoning and everything. And this didn't give me a lot of seasoning. Like I said, the um, coconut rice and the jollof rice was really good. I enjoyed that. And also the chicken that came with the jollof rice was good. I didn't try that on um, beef. And I can finally say I tried goat. And it wasn't as bad as I thought. But just the thought of having eaten a goat bothers me. Mama. Tell the people what it was. She's going to be nice about it, but it wasn't all bad. Especially that, f what this is, foo foo. Mm -mm. Let's rate it. Out of, out of 1 to 5, 1 to 10. Who out of one to ten, it gets a three. It's a three for me. One ten, am I? Let's see how nice she'll be about it. I'll be nice at four. A five. Yeah. She says a five. I, I'll be nice at four. Because I did like the two rices and I did like the, the goat was good. So, But that fufu and that pepper soup. Mm 
Uh-uh. No bay. That was real bay. But yeah, y'all. That's about it. That's about everything. Um, I don't have that much left. I mean, I did pretty good. I just have this much of that left. Um, and for the soup, it's not that much left. And then this one, we had this much left. But yeah, if you guys have tried African food or if you um are thinking about trying it comment down below tell me what's your favorite african food or what type of african food you like to try um make sure you like comment and subscribe um watch some of my other videos and i just thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye y'all awesome oh jesus mama now I'm going to get the pillar off the camera. Goodbye, my. Good. <laughs>